This video will be about creating a simple system to play camera animations in gameplay and how to create those camera animations using the Unreal Engine sequencer. We'll start off by creating events and an actor to play the camera animations. As for the project, we'll just be using the basic third person templates uh, that Unreal Engine provides out of the box. Um, and technically, you can create the camera animation without using any character animation. Uh, but I'd advise, I would think it's a better idea to have some sort of character animation to play while you're playing the camera animation, just so you can kind of have more fun editing it and actually see it work um, as intended in a more close to actual production environment, so to say. And so I'll be using an animation I got off from the marketplace inside of Unreal Engine and uh, once you've got your animation set up, uh, let's dive into actually implementing the feature of camera animations. Um, so first we're going to be creating an actor to play our camera animations. Uh, in the game, we're gonna call it BP Camera Animation Player. And inside this actor, we'll be adding a camera component. Compile. Uh, we're not gonna need those, so we'll get rid of those. And we're for first going to create. We are first going to create an event called Play Camera Animation. And from here, we're going to get the gameplay camera subsystem. This is the one you should be interested in. Uh, from here, we can get play camera animation. Uh, it takes an input of the target, which is the gameplay camera subsystem, the player controller, which you can get using get player controller, and also the sequence that we're intending to play, which we do not have yet because we haven't created it. And once that's set, um, let's just say we wanted to play it from the player character. I'll just, I just have the player character take the input of K. It's going to play an animation montage, and then it's going to spawn the camera animation player and fires off the event for it to play camera animation. Um, once that's set, let's go back to the camera animation player blueprint mm, and even if the camera animation is playing if the view target is still set to the camera attached to the player you wouldn't be able to see the works of the sequence you're playing so you'll need to add a set view target with blend node and set the view new new view target for it uh, as itself which is BP camera animation player. Then when the camera animation is playing on the camera inside of this particular blueprint, um, and you set the view, view target to that, that's when you'll be able to see the camera animate the perspective in the camera animation. You just need to set the view target to the camera attached to this blueprint actor. And then obviously we have a play camera animation. We also we're also going to need a finish or end camera animation. And here we have to set the view target back to the default player camera, which is attached to the third person character. So we can come back to our player character's perspective once the camera animation has stopped playing. And since we're playing this camera animation after spawning it and uh, firing at a custom event, we don't want to forget about destroying it because we don't want to have another camera, another another one of these blueprints in the world stacking up again and again whenever we play the camera animation. And don't forget to add stop camera animation node uh, when when you want the camera animation to stop, or else it's going to keep on playing the animation even though uh, the view target is going back to the clear camera and. It, kind of messes things up.
And now we'll be creating the camera animation itself. We'll be using the level sequencer and the camera animation sequence, uh, which can be used as a template sequence for a camera animation. Um, you can just bring up a new level, or in my case, I just cleaned up the third person map a little bit and started adding the things I needed to work on my camera animation. So first off, we'll need to create the level sequence uh, asset. So we'll have a level sequence where we have the player character, uh, so we can see it doing its uh, playing its animation, character animation, and we can animate the camera animation around the player character while it's uh, doing its attacks, attack animations. Once you have the level sequence set up, drag and drop the character you want to work with. After you've dropped it inside the level, uh, remember to zero out on the location and the rotation. And if for so any reason you're using scale, also set it to the default value you'd like it to be. If you're also using the default Unreal Engine mannequin, once you drop it down inside the track, it's going to show up some control rigs that are already active. Um, for this video's purpose, we're not really going to work on Use, we're not going to be using them, so you can just mute them or probably just get rid of them too. So, um, once you've set up the basic character and turned off the control rig, you can make... Let's add an animation for it to play. So you can click on the character mesh, go to animations, uh, select the animation you want to play. Well, in my case, I'm just going to play a combo attack. Number three. Like so. And for this, we're going to make a camera animation for this moveset. So for this move. So he's going to do like a twirl and then some shots. We're going to make a, an animation for that. We're going to need a camera animation sequence which is you can find by right clicking on the asset browser to create assets, go to cinematics and then go to camera animation sequence. Camera animation sequence, uh, let's just call it my animation. So now we don't have anything yet, but before we actually work on this, we're just going to go back to the level sequence and add a camera so we can actually see how our animation is working. So here, you can see a camera button, add a camera. It's going to start off in the location of the uh, camera inside the view viewport. I'm just going to zero it out. And then here, on the camera actor, on since go to track. And then here, this is something I was working on before. And here, the one you've created, my animation, camera animation sequence. I'm going to add that there. The cool thing is, once it's inside the level sequence, and we have the camera animation here the, as a template animation, you can just double click on this and work on it as it, right here on like while we're watching, uh, while we're looking at the animation. Um, we're going to be working on the a uh, transforms first. So let's we, we, let's say we want to start off here. We're gonna add a key there here oh before we actually do that let's just get rid of the transform here because that transform also has an effect on the animation itself we just want to focus on just worry about the animation itself right here if we have the transform outside of the character the animation itself let's say we're moving 50 inside this uh my animation asset and then another 50 inside the level sequence here it's going to all get messed up right so that's why we, we want to have everything just just zeroed out inside the level sequence and then we'll and then work on the camera animation from there so here let's say we do the we start here and then he does something when he does a twirl we we close up and then when he goes up again we kind of go up and then when he comes back we finish it off too uh, the original position where we started from. So here we can see, you can click on the camera just to see how it goes. 
goes here and then goes back as we want it to. Okay. But the problem here is we're using a Cine camera. So let's actually go inside the game. Actually, you can unpress this to unpossess. Um, let's go back to our third person character. We're going to be sh choosing the animation we've created. My animation. And then here, I'm just gonna make it play. Yeah. Never mind that. Uh, here. We're gonna play it. So, oh yeah, I added the particles and the sound, so, uh, just forget about that. So the thing is here, like, we can actually see it moving as we intended, but the problem is that we were working on the Cine camera actor's viewport, so it has, like, all these functions that the normal camera does not have. So, like, look at here. If you look at the properties, like, we have a lot of uh, properties here that this default camera does not have like lens settings focus settings focus method crop settings etc so that's why when we try to look at it and work on it we're getting something that we're getting it from a per point of view that we're not really uh that's not really accurate to the game let's say we want to have everything played inside of the gameplay camera which is this blue one <clears throat> so I th one thing I've tried was just try to change the class here, you know, just the camera actor. And sometimes it just works like that, but sometimes uh, I don't know if it's a bug or anything, but sometimes I have to place a camera actor inside the level and then change the class and then it works, but sometimes it just works like that. So here we have it. Uh, but something's not working. It's not playing this. Uh, before we do anything any anymore, camera. We're just gonna name it so it's less confusing. Just check it's a camera actor. <clears throat> Get rid of all these uh, keys. I mean properties. I mean these properties. Oh, I can't even uh, undo them. But yeah, the properties I just uh, deleted. They they're properties that the default camera cannot have like they it just straight up doesn't have so here we have the animation it's still there because it's basically just transform keyframes right now we can see it in a more uh close to actual gameplay perspective so if we take a look we can kind of see the whole body here and then when we move in, just kind of like that and like that. Let's say over here, we want to go to the left. I'm going to use auto key on. It's already on for me. Probably most of you, it's probably at set at none. I've been messing around with the project a little bit. So I have it on auto key. Auto key is really um, convenient for just blocking out quickly blocking out frames right so here if i just go to this frame then i do this it automatically keys it to that frame to the transform i already had so goes here let's say we kind of turn it a little down here and goes back so we have one where it starts at the back goes to the left of the character and then comes back to the back we save go to gameplay and then play it again. So at a full screen. Mm -hmm. We can see that it's playing the animation of the character and also the animation of the uh, camera. And it's really easy to just edit things while you're on the fly too. So here. Um, where is it? If you go back, we'll go back to the level sequencer. And go and see here that it's 
yeah, the animation sometimes gets messed up when you're going back and forth, sort of level sequence and the gameplay. Uh, I found out that you can just reload the level to fix this. So if I just go back here, third person map, and then we, if you reopen the sequence, level sequence, it just goes back to normal again. So yes, this is basically the gist of it. If you're going to be using a cine camera actor for your animations, like you might you might also want to consider using uh what was it? Yeah, the camera here. You might want to consider using this as a cine camera too, right? This one. But uh I just wanted to go with something more uh, basic more of uh, something that we're more familiar with so i just wanted to use the basic uh gameplay camera and also animated in the perspective of the gameplay camera there might be some little uh differences between this animation that's actually edited and the actual gameplay but just for as a starting point for uh, people who who've been figuring out how to actually get a camera animation going and uh, playing inside the game and also how to edit it, I think th uh, these information would have been pretty helpful.